Israeli occupation forces waged a massive crackdown on Palestinian unrest that began in East Jerusalem in October. Palestinians in East Jerusalem have been arrested, checkpoints established, roads sealed off, and everyday life obstructed. Basically, cars are randomly stopped. Cars on their way into the neighborhoods are stopped. And I don't actually think that Israel even thinks that it helps. 300,000 Palestinians live in occupied East Jerusalem. They make our life very, very complex and very, very difficult. And it's a political checkpoints. They not want us here. In the East Jerusalem neighborhood of Atur, children fear going to school because of a permanent Israeli police presence in front of a school. <laughs> Parents and activists organized a small protest this week. We're demonstrating here because um, for the past few weeks, uh, Israel has basically put up roadblocks all around the neighborhoods of East Jerusalem. Uh, they say that this is uh, to do with the security situation and that it's meant to help protect Israelis. Uh, but in reality, we think that this is only done uh, basically to make Palestinians' lives miserable. In other areas, young Palestinians are being harassed on their way to work or studies in West Jerusalem or when trying to access the light rail. <laughs>